Yes, so today I'll be talking about how you can get your Depop shop verified. I'll be going over the three requirements that your shop needs to hit to be able to get verified and some tips to help your shop get there. The first requirement your shop needs to hit is to have an average of 4.5 stars, which really isn't hard at all to do. If you aren't getting an average of 4.5 stars, don't know what you're doing wrong. But to guarantee that every customer is going to give you a 5 star review after they've purchased with you, just be honest if the item does have any flaws or anything like that, like this tea. I could have avoided saying this tea's got two little holes in it, but say when the person receives the item and they do see that it has two holes in it, they Ain't gonna be best pleased and as well the little minor marks aren't really gonna decrease the value of your item that much at all and as well just be nice to people when they message you and just be quick on your replies people like quick reply times and as well it helps your shop because people are more likely to buy from you because if you reply in under 10 minutes you're more likely to be able to make the sale just where the buyer won't have lost interest in your item and as well you are just gonna want to keep a good rating for your shop because customer service is everything really Say you're rude or whatever to customers, people aren't going to want to come back to you. And as well, they aren't going to leave you a good rating or recommend you to anyone that they know. So just be nice to people, it really is not that hard. Say your item says you could ship same day or anything like that and you for some reason can't, just tell people. So honesty is really the best thing because say if they ask to see a copy of the shipping receipt and you provide that to them and it says that you shipped a day after you said you did, it's just bad customer service really. But talking about shipping, the second requirement that your shop's going to need to hit to get verified is you're going to have to have average of shipping within three days, which really isn't hard at all to do. It's so easy. If you're struggling to ship your items, just set a time every day that you're going to go to the post office. And as well, if you set a time, you can tell a customer, I'm going to the post office at X time. And you can kind of use that to their advantage because say someone messages you about free asking to buy an item, you can kind of go to them. I'm going to the post office at 5 so if you don't buy within the set time I won't ship today because people are more likely to buy it I am just there and then where they are going to receive that day shipping because I've used that line one or two times before but it definitely works another good way to improve your shipping time is to find a post office that's open till late I use them at calls because they're open literally from about 6 I think it is in the morning to 10 o'clock at night so pretty much no matter what time of the day I want to post I will be able to post my items and as well just saying your post that day is another huge way to just boost your sales i know i've had interest in an item about seven o'clock and i've gone i'll post your item within the next hour or if you buy now and as well it's just another little leverage that you can use to sell your items a little bit easier and as well if you're kind of struggling to keep up with writing out orders and everything like that what i would buy is a thermal label printer just make sure it's a thermal label printer because they don't use ink you don't want one that uses ink because it's just another expenditure that you don't need and as well, just get some poly mailers like I've got here. I've got these purple ones that are bigger. And I've got these smaller orange ones for smaller items. It just makes it so much easier to ship your item. Another thing as well to make shipping so much easier is these like label sleeves. They're really cheap for 100. It was only like three pounds or something like that. They're so much better than like sellotaping your label on. And as well, they're a lot cheaper than buying sellotape. The third and the last requirement that you're going to have to hit to get your Depop shop verified, which is the hardest thing to do out of all of the things so far, which is to get 50 plus sales a month with an average item price of £15, or to make an average turnover of £2,000 without fees. But before you can get verified, you'll have to maintain these numbers for four months. And that works out about 200 sales at £15 an item or eight grand in total, which really, if you are like a serious kind of seller in a way or if you are selling more high-end items isn't too hard to achieve but don't get me wrong it's no easy feat some tips that tips oh dear some tips to <laughs> some tips to improve your sales is to have well lit item photos if you have a theme as well for your shop and your photos like i do as you can see for my shop i kind of got like the dartboard theme going on for my shop it makes your photos look a lot better and as well, when people see your shop, they know it's you. Another big way to boost your sales is writing your descriptions better by adding more trigger words to your posts. What I mean by trigger words, say you were just selling like a vintage jumper, say instead of just putting vintage jumper, 
Put vintage 90s, obviously if it's from the 90s. Put hoodie, zip up, crew neck, sweatshirt, literally just any more words to describe it. As well, adding measurements to your post. I cannot stress how much this helps. There's a video I put up in the cars now on how to measure your clothes if you don't know how to do that. It's so easy to do and it will increase the chance of your item selling where the buyer knows it's definitely going to fit when it arrives. And as well, adding the floors to your description, obviously along with a photo in the post. Doing it like that will make them sell a lot better where they've got a visual representation and as well a written one. The key measurements you need to add to your post though for jumpers, sweatshirts, things like that are the body length. The chest or the pit to pit, I like to call it the pit to pit. And the arm length, but if you're doing like trousers or shorts or anything like that, what I would do is the waist, the inside leg, the total leg and the rise. The rise isn't too essential though, it depends if you want to add that in. It definitely always helps though. And the one thing that will really boost your sales is refreshing your items, it's so easy to do. If you don't know what I mean by refreshing your items, I'll have my phone screen up to the side of me. Literally, all you've got to do is click edit and click post listing. And there you have just refreshed your items and pushed it to the top of the searches. And obviously, now it's at the top of the searches. you got more chance of someone seeing it who might want to buy it. But that's the three things that you need to get verified. Just having a 4.5 average rating on your shop. An average shipping time of three days. And making 50 plus sales on an average of 15 pounds. Or making two grand in sales a month for four months. But with some perseverance and some time, you can easily get your shop verified on Depop. But I do hope you have learned something from this video and learned how to get your shop verified. As I said, it is quite hard to do, but with a little bit of perseverance, you can get there. But if you have enjoyed the video and made it to this point, please like the video. It does massively help my channel. And subscribe to help me hit 1k by the end of the year. But if you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out on Depop content like this. Vintage wholesale unboxings, vintage wholesale reviews, charity shop videos, car boot sale videos, and just so much more content. Three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on this channel at 5pm. You'd be crazy not to subscribe. But if you want to stay out to date on what's going on in the channel, my Instagram's up on the screen now and it's in the description. If you follow it, you'll get a sneak preview of what the video is going to be and you get to keep up to date everything that's going on on this channel. But as I said, I do really hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something. But please like, subscribe and comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future. If you've watched all the way to the end of the video, big up to you. But I've got a question for you. If you have watched any of my videos before, what was the audio like on this video? Was it too quiet this time? Because I know it's been a little loud recently. Totally my fault. But what was it like this time? Could you comment down below what it's like? It'd be much appreciated. Please like, subscribe and comment down below videos you'd like to see in the future. And as well, what the audio was like.